Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Previously On. I am your host, Lemus, and as always with me is my co-host, Digital Dachi. This is the week of July the 30th, coming down to the end of the month here, of 2021. Sorry, the clock was 7.20, and right below it was 7.30, and my brain got a little confused for a moment. Um, it's not hard to do, confusing me. So here we are, another day, another chipper, jolly, jippity, dip, zippity dude all day. Uh, I'm going to talk about what we've been into this week. Uh, so we're going to dive right into it. And I'm just going to ask you straight up, what have you been watching this week? Uh, a lot of YouTube. I've watched a lot of YouTube this week too. I don't know that I've even watched any shows this week. I haven't. I watched YouTube. That's it. A lot, of, a lot of cooking and food stuff. I did watch a show. I lied. I'm sorry. Um, oh, what a piece of trash you are. I uh, know. We watched the second episode of the Turner and Hooch TV series <laughs> on Disney+. Plus. Uh, it's really good. We're really enjoying it so far. It's got a good, like, it's just a good show. A good, wholesome, kind of action-y, goofy dog show. So I like it. But I think outside of YouTube and TikTok, I think that's all I've watched this week. It's not been a real eventful week. Because um, I've not even done much as far as in, like, maybe work. And then uh, today we did some stuff, which you guys will see. I'm going to try to do a little vlog video. We went and did the maternity fo maternity photo shoot. Not good words. I wrote a book, but I'm I not good with words. stroke. It's untelling nowadays. But we did the maternity photo shoot. I think it went rather well. Other than being hot as summer is and as it always shall be, it was pretty warm. Pretty warm. But I think other than that, everything went well. We got some really good shots, uh, some really good locations and poses and stuff. And I think they're going to turn out really good. We're going to go through those um, when we can and maybe posting those to the... Uh, I guess Facebook, Graham, somewhere. But I will be posting the vlog video. So be on the lookout for that. And you guys are going to see some of the sh photography happening in action. In a little bit of the magic behind the scenes. Which I think is kind of exciting. Kind of cool. So other than that, I've not done much. Have you been in anything doing this week? I worked and that's pretty much it. I ain't done jack. Okay. Same here. Like I said, I've not done a whole lot this week. It's not it's been, been a, a very boring week. It has been. But it's still going to be an exciting episode because what have you been playing this week? Star Wars. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Final Fantasy. Yep. Tried playing Path of Exiles because their new league just launched and I didn't get a chance to really play it because my Xbox was being dumb. And yes, I do enjoy League or Path of Exiles on Xbox more than I do. Even though you're typically, yeah, typically um, PC. PC. I've never played Path of Exiles. It's like Diablo, only better. Okay, I do like Diablo. I played uh, Diablo three, and I liked it. Did I play anything else? I don't know. I know we both played Star Wars because I know we ran some uh, flashpoints and some stuff there. I know I I this was my first week getting back into Final Fantasy 14 since 2014 2015. It's probably about 2015 I think last time I played, and uh, started getting back into it. Pretty fun. Uh, I'm really enjoying it, especially like some of the story and cutscenes and just like the music too. I gotta say the music in that game is super like good. Like the soundtrack, whoever does, hats off. Um, and then yeah, I don't. I played a little bit of GTA. They had a new, they've got their new update. That's like, is it tuners? So it's like a car yeah. update. It's very Fast and the Furious style. Um, I got me some new, uh, like a race racing outfit and a new racing car to kind of deal with on there. And me and my brother-in-law attempted one of the missions. We did the two setups, no problem at all. And then the actual mission was to rob a train, and we ended up failing. I don't even want to say miserably because we did good considering we didn't know. We were still learning what we was doing uh, and how it was going to work. We, you know, they did, didn't exactly give you real good tips. We were supposed to rob a train. 
and I guess we they told us to drive to where the train was going to be coming through and wait on the train to come through. Well, we did that, but we made the mistakes of getting out of our cars because we thought, oh, this is probably going to be a thing. we got to hop the train and do all this. No, you're supposed to drive. There's four brakes, two on either side, and they have their own health bars. So it's not like a one-shot and done thing. You have to constantly shoot at these things to chip away at a health bar. And all while driving alongside the train on either side, all while you've got like two helicopters, tons of guys on the trains, guys in other vehicles coming after you. It was very intense and crazy, and we did not know what we were doing or what we was prepared for. And we still got technically all four of the brakes shot off, but by then we had already lost too many lives and too much time. But we're going to get them next time. But that was fun. That was the eventful thing we did on there. And other than that, I don't think I've played anything this week. I thought maybe I played something else, but I don't remember. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, I played Spirit Fair. Um, I forgot all about that, and I've got two videos of that up already, and I've got uh, three more to work on. Technically two more, but I'm going to split one of them into a two-parter, so be on the lookout for that. By the end of the week, I should have at least five parts of Spirit Fair out, and probably going to play some more this weekend and week, so it's pretty good so far. A little indie game. Uh, so check out the ones I do have up on the channel. I think they're pretty fun, pretty cool. Uh... I think moving or long have you read anything this week? No, definitely haven't read nothing. I did. I have something. I read a comic, um, Batman Reptilian number one. And man, was it good. It was trippy, but good. So like the art style, I'm sorry, my back is itching me. I'm a professional and I tried, but. I'm not scratching your back for you. Well, that's why I did it. I wasn't going to ask you to scratch my back for me. You know, the whole. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. I Where's that clothes hanger at? I need to beat you with something. I don't know. It's probably in the closet where it belongs, where it needs to be hung up at. Point being, what was I even talking Oh, Batman Reptilian, number one. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, the art style is very different, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. The story, I have no idea where they're going. Um... But it's very, it's a lot darker, edgier kind of Batman, but I, I like that. I like that it's kind of like a Tim Burton, Guillermo del Toro vibes to it, and I, I'm kind of here for it. Um, but I think that's the only thing I read this weekend. I think I may have read a couple of, like, bedtime story things to Ivy. Like little fairy tale kidsy stories, but I don't remember. We read out of, um... I found like this Grimm's fairy tales for kids things on thing online and read Briar Rose, which is essentially Sleeping Beauty. I read that. That was pretty good. Um, How can it be Sleeping Beauty? Well, Sleeping Beauty, like a lot of the Disney properties existed before Disney. Like Sleeping Beauty, Snow just, White, all those uh -huh. existed before Disney. And I guess Sleeping Beauty just happened to be a... Grimm's fairy tale, but it was called Briar Rose, which is what they called her in the movie at some point. My wife is an expert on these things and actually knows more details about the behind the scenes and why they called her Briar Rose and all this stuff than I do. And I read the story, and even I still don't 100% remember. She's probably in there right now because I know she can hear. She's probably in there cringing so hard right now at the fact that I'm butchering every bit of this information. But it's okay. I love you, honey. And, yep, there she goes chuckling. Yeah, it's because she knows. She knows I'm in here butchering this. Um, <laughs> next time, we'll have a segment where she can come in and correct all of the Disney and Grim fairy tale mistakes that I've made. Uh, we'll be here till next year. <laughs> Touche. Uh, we'll just have to start a series <laughs> where she corrects my Disney and Grim fairy tale mistakes. Um, other than that, I don't think I've read much else either. But, now we come to the fun part. The eating category. Before we show off what we've got to eat, have you eaten anything? Uh, I had lasagna yesterday. Oh, I love a good lasagna. I got lasagna in the freezer today, actually. I, I had pizza yesterday evening. I've got pizza in the freezer today, also. Uh...
Oh, what have I eaten? It's hard to say. It's not, let's see what else I have in the freezer. Maybe I've got garlic bread in there. You ate garlic bread? I ate garlic bread when I was on you. There you go. That's why I bought it. Duh. It's weird. Uh, I'm starting to think you time traveled and stole stuff from my freezer. I've not checked it in a while. I had Chick Fil A the other day. I, I have not had Chick Fil A. How was it? Was it as it good was as good. it is? It was Lord's good. Chicken. Lord's waffle fries. It was the Lord's calories. That That's, means I was able to eat all I wanted and got, didn't gain a pound. Heck yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, what else did I eat? Oh, we had Applebee's today. Oh, we did have Applebee's and it was good. I don't know how I forgot that. We literally just left there. It was good. I, I enjoyed it. I had the Fiesta lime chicken with rice and I thought it was quite delicioso. What? a word i think i think that just it's delicious in spanish there you go it's still a word um we this week <laughs> i don't know where that we was going um i was thinking and we I, snaw. yeah we snaw. <laughs> little piggy went we all the way home so i uh decided to do one of my infamous we got uh, haircuts this week. We both got a haircut this week. This is true. Look at this. All the curls tamed. Finally. Thank goodness. You don't really have curls, but it's tamed. Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know. Your hair looks fine always to me, but I didn't even know you needed a haircut. I mean, but... it was pretty long. But it looks good. Mine looks good. The wife got a haircut. We all got haircuts. It's a haircut week. So if you didn't get your haircut this week, you're a square. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to ostracize, alienate half of our viewers, which are I'm three glad people. that you think half of yeah, them. <laughs> three viewers, yeah. Out of out of the three people watching, how many of you got haircuts? Sound off in the comments below. <laughs> um, we're going to get some interesting comments. Or none. Yeah. Or none. <laughs> or none. Uh, come on, guys. Prove me wrong. I dare you. A triple dog dare you. And you know what to say about triple dog dare. It means you've got to comment now. And you got to say you accept. And then tell me if you got a haircut this week. Um. Oh, that's, that's so sidetracked. As I do. Professionals. So, this week, uh, food-wise, I did make... kind of. I'm kind of well-known for taking random ingredients that are up in the cabinet and throwing them together to make something. And I had one of those this week. We had a can of potatoes, uh, diced potatoes. And I took a can of shredded chicken. I took a can of nacho cheese. Mixed it all together. Put a little bit of shredded up, pulled up turkey in there. I put some hot sauce and salt and pepper. And then I added some Fritos corn chips in there. And I heated it all up, mixed You're it all, all together. You're all about them Frito corn chips. Well, here's the thing. I gotta be honest. I don't eat that many corn chips. No, but you put them I in put everything. Them, I put them in the Nuns Nacho Lasagna, and the only reason I put them in that thing the other day is I still had a bag left over from when I made Nuns Nacho Lasagna. I don't eat... Here's the thing. When I eat corn chips on the regular, it's usually like honey barbecue. Okay? Cause, or the chili cheese. Chili cheese Fritos and honey barbecue Fritos are where it's at. The only time I eat regular is if I am putting it in something or dipping it in something. But... I don't do that that often. I just did it this week. Right. Why are you hating? Why are you hating on my Fritos corn chips? I'm just hating on you. Not necessarily your corn chips. Well, you know what? Speaking of corn chips, here's what we're gonna dive right into this week. We have four, 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 four different flavors and types of chips for you to try for you guys today. <laughs> All right. Let's lay it out here. I'm just going to hold them up one at a time here. All right. We have one of the new napkins just went everywhere because we got the fan on and I took this bag up. All right, check that out. That's Doritos Cool Ranch Lay's Potato Chips. If you ever wonder what Doritos Cool Ranch flavor would taste like on Lay's chips, saddle up because Lay's put this iconic Doritos flavor on these iconic potato chips. Try all three for a limited time. What's, I like how when you talk about these, you're getting more loud as you go. <laughs> what's the other three, you ask? Bunions. Wavy style. 
Yeah, who said you needed rings to have fun? Well, probably Sonic the Hedgehog, but that's the point. Get the flavor of Funyuns rings now on wa Lay's Wavy Potato Chips. And that's right, we're going for the trifecta of the new Lay's people. We got Cheetos on the Lay's. What happens when the cheesiness of Cheetos snacks meets the delicious crispiness of Lay's chips? Open the bag and find out. And Lay's isn't the only one getting the love. Because I about dropped it. We got the uh, Pringles Baconator. Look at that. Look at that covering. <laughs> Look at that, <laughs> that beautiful advertisement. Limited time only. Even though these came out like last year. Are these from last year? No. But um, they brought them back for a limited time only. So we got four different types of chips to try here. And I'm very excited about most of them. I've heard a lot of not good things about the Wendy's Baconator chips. But I'm still kind of excited because I love a good Baconator. So, my uh, co-host and friend here, what do you want to try first? Uh, I don't know. I'm scared of Cheetos anything. Because we can take turns picking. Mm. We just got to decide who goes first here. We're going Funyuns? Funyuns. Funyuns, wavy, wavy lays Funyuns. I do love a good Funyun. It's fun. It's young. It has layers like... An onion and an ogre. Kind of like Dachi here. He's got layers. Whew. Oh, it smells kind of like... It don't smell great. Like, it doesn't smell, like, instantly bad, but it just smells not great either. I'm trying to get a nice big one here. That's big That's enough. That's big enough. I don't know that I like that. I don't know that it tastes like Funyuns. I don't either. Just tastes like a... I don't know. I don't either. I don't care much for it. It just tastes like lace. I call wavy lace. With a little bit of flavoring. Like, it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. I just don't know that, like... Like you said, it's not got a lot of funyuny taste. Palate cleanse after everyone. Yep. So now I'm going to go Doritos Cool Ranch. Because again, I'm saving the ones that I think are going to be the worst for last. Even though, I don't know, because we started off with that bar. That's a very low bar. But, ooh. Again, smells in some of these bags. I don't know if it's a bag or God. Yeah. Oh, oh man, I got a friggin' look at I got a foldy. I like it better than onion. Just like a oily Dorito. <laughs> yeah, it's like a flat oily um, Cool Ranch Dorito. But here's the thing: I love the Cool Ranch Doritos. So I actually really like that. I like Cool Ranch Doritos, but that's just I like it. I like that one better than the Funyuns. It tastes oily. Oily Funyuns. I'd give like a maybe a four out of ten. That I'd give like a seven out of ten. I'd give them both. I'd give the Funyuns a three and a. That on four. Oh no, it's the one I've heard the most bad things about. <laughs> oh no. I can't tell if it's a. Eric, what? Hogging all the smell. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it back. <laughs> you can have the smell back. Kind of smells. Good. Oh, um, I don't know if my stomach's prepared for this. I 
I'm gonna, I don't taste Baconator. Wait. I do and I don't. Yeah. I taste bacon. I can't say that I really taste anything else. Oh, it's got a meat flavor. I don't know how I feel about that one. Ah, uh, four out of ten. I don't even pass. <laughs> Too shy. All right, y'all. So far for me, this has been a bust. This has been a buzz. All this hot. I was so excited, guys. Oh, he really was. He's talked about it for but a while. When we get done here, I do have something else I can announce or like tease you guys about. Oh, this one smells bad. <laughs> it smells bad. Oh, good. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> it's a pretty color. Oh, I gotta... You got a foldy. <laughs> That's gonna be the work. There you go. Actually, I really like that. That's not bad. No. I'd probably give this a nine out of ten, honestly. Oh God, that is going to <laughs> Okay. Ding ding ding. We have a winner. That's good. <laughs> Cheetos, man. They come through smells every like time. Crap. It smells like crap. Smells terrible, but to be fair, I've never smelled the inside of a Cheetos bag, so it might smell just as bad. I don't think I've ever whiffed my Cheetos. Except for those the, the Japanese ones I've tried, and those were rough. That's because they had, like, sweet Cheetos. And... I mean, I still would rather just have Cheetos instead of this. But... That's true. That's a good point. I would rather have the parent thing instead of these. Okay, yeah, because I love Funyuns. I love Doritos Cool Ranch. I love an actual Baconator. <laughs> I'd rather just have the Baconator. That's that's something. These are uh, see like, and this is pretty okay. This is pretty good. See, like I can understand almost with the Baconator thing, because obviously, if you're craving that flavor but you don't want to eat the whole burger. It's cheaper and probably less calories to just eat some Pringles. But with these, they cost just as much as buying a bag of Funyuns or Doritos is. And you know it's going to be about the same kind of calories. You're just really, look, the biggest thing with these is just somebody that really likes those Lay's Classic Chips. The Classic Lay's. And no one wrong, I love Classic Lay's. But I don't know if I love Lay's Classic more than regular Cheetos. Well, I'm stuck holding my water the rest of the time. I dropped my lid and I don't know where it went. Yeah, my lid. Oh, you're about to finish yours. God, you're a fish. My brother said something very similar before. I drink a lot of water, guys. Stay hydrated. It's important. Oh! My big exciting news. I don't know how exciting it'll be for you. You're not a big coffee drinker, but... I wish I was. I love the smell of coffee. Well, then when I do this, when I do what I'm doing, or wanting to do, you can smell the coffee with me. I, I guess. I don't know. Anyhow, so, it's almost that time of year, the time of season that we all love. Fall, Halloween, we're You're getting close. about pumpkin spice coffee. Hold up a minute. Would yep. you hold up a minute? I just thought of it. I gotta be basic for a second, Okay. Just for one second, I'm going to be basic. We know any other time, I'm not. I'm not a basic person, you know. I'm pretty much as real as it gets. But, pumpkin spice season is around the corner. Not just pumpkin spice, though. Halloween and fall season in general is coming up. I mean, I don't hate pumpkin spice. I tried the Kit Kat pumpkin spice, and they were okay. They're all right. Hey. They're not the best in the world. Um... Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts oh, are both preparing to release their fall lineup, but not just the pumpkin spice lattes. They're also coming out with food and like desserts and stuff themed around the fall season. So here's the problem with Dunkin' and Starbucks. Yes, I know people that go there a lot. Yeah, they're always out of everything. Well, we're gonna we're just gonna hope that they have enough of the fall stuff. So the goal is when they release Dunkin's is on August 18th and starbucks august 24th because they're they're obviously they're gonna have their pumpkin spice lattes but they're also 
like I think Starbucks is doing a apple, cinnamon apple or caramel apple latte macchiato thing, which sounds good. But they're also doing like actual food, snacks and desserts and stuff. They're doing like four or five different things that are all fall themed, whether it's like apple tasting, pumpkin-y tasting, or just designed to look like fall. And then Duncan is doing a secondary launch in October where they're going to be doing Halloween themed donuts and snacks and stuff. So what I would like to do is get like their entire lineup. I think there's like five or six things in total at each place. There's a few less at Starbucks. I think Starbucks is like four maybe. And then Dunkin' had like five or six things. But just get all of it. Get the different drinks, get the different snacks, and do a taste test presentation and show you guys some of that I think would be fun. I still think we need to do some blind taste tests eventually. Try things, see if we can guess what it is. We should have done that with these. We should have like found blindfolds and see if we could guess which of the different flavored lays that it was next time. But <clears throat> I just... It's like, which piece of crap did you find first in this lineup? I'm sorry. These were not very great. They weren't, honestly. And I apologize because I had no idea. I just knew that they were being hopped up online. I like trying new flavors, guys, which is good because it's entertainment for you all. Not so great for our... our... Did you drop another lid? Okay, I was... You got it. it. I found I it. I was like, I gave you my lid and you still <laughs> dropped it. Oh, uh, it's chaos. Chaos everywhere. Um, but you looked so offended. Like, how dare you lose another lid? Because it was the lid I loaned you. Like, you needed it. It's not that I needed it. It's, that's not the fact. Or the, the, the point. It's the... the. You know what I'm Moving mean. on. So, anyhow, guys. Um, I think we're about to be at a wrap. A rap party. Now, this has been wiki, short wiki, this week. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Well, do you have anything else we want to talk about? Uh, we're going to go watch The oh, Green Knight we tonight. are going to go watch The Green Knight tonight. Two hours? Uh, about an hour. Yeah, about an hour, hour and 20. About an hour and 20. We're at least going to go sit up there anyway, because I don't know if it's 9 20 or 9 40 we're going. Me either. But it never hurts to get there early and get a good seat. I mean, our seats are prepaid for, but I don't trust people. I think they're going to take our seats. But I'm excited. I'm pretty uh, excited. What's your pre-going-in thoughts? I don't know much about it, but it looks like it's going to be a nice little adventure. I agree. It's got knights. It's got weird magical things. It's got a talking fox. Um, if anyone who knows, I like foxes a lot. I've got one. Anybody that's played D&D &D with you, I know. As somebody that's played D&D &D with you, I know what you do to foxes. See? There's a fox. I was a fox when we played D&D. Yeah, but you also shot a certain extremity off of another set of foxes. No, no, that was a golem, I think. No, no, it was a fox. Is it another fox? Yes, it uh, was a fox. Look, if they were looking at me funny, they deserved it. I'm just saying. I was a kitsune, is what I was. Yes, I was a little fox man. And I also have a fox necklace, but I don't know what happened to it. Um, I lose things a lot. I'd say you lose your mind, but... That's been gone for years. Yep. Lost it way back in the day. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. Um, obviously, do you got any other plans for this week? Any big plans this week? Anything Not really, I guess. I gotta work, and then I don't know what I'm doing on my days off yet. We gotta clean your room out the rest of the Friday, week. Friday, yep, the Friday. nursery. We'll try to get a video up for you guys showing what that looks like. The progress we make. Um, I will say one thing we did do, uh, speaking of doing that I forgot to mention earlier, we did start decorating for Halloween early. Uh, we got our little pumpkin chair backs, these little things that slide over the back of the chairs. We got some pumpkin tins outside, hung up a skeleton or two, and some ghosties and bats around the house. And I did see the Dollar General was put out their Halloween candy, and it was literally like the day before my paycheck when I went in there and seen that but now it's the day after my paycheck and I plan on making a trip because I love Halloween I love Halloween candy I can't handle a lot of it at one time anymore me and the wife was actually talking about this the other day how when we were kids we could just eat candy like it was nothing 
and now you just can't eat it like like not not only just the sugar i mean obviously the sugar is one thing but just stomach wise you just can't stomach it anymore it's just that getting old can't eat anything like you used to oh i can still eat candy like you know, style. well i probably shouldn't but i can but there's nothing wrong with that like i said i respect it especially halloween candy and easter candy it's my two favorite holidays for candy and I'm so excited. They look like they had some stuff that I hadn't seen. I may get some Halloween candy to try on the next Previously On. Because there's a few things that I don't think I've tried before I've seen over there. They've got pumpkin spice flavored uh, treats and apple flavored treats that I've not even tried. Uh, so I'm excited about that. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Man, I just love Reese Cups. So you like a good Reese's, was it Ghosts, I guess they do, around Halloween? Pumpkins. Pumpkins, the Reese's Pumpkins. Yeah, man. I'll eat them until I get sick. Oh, gosh. Got to get me a Reese's Pumpkin. All the specialty Reese's just taste way that's, better. That's true. The eggs, the pumpkins, Valentine's Day, they do hearts. Christmas, they do trees. I think it's pretty much it. I think that's... But still, they are all dynamically... Superior is the word I would look for. Um, obviously, we should do and probably will do a Halloween episode. That'll be fun. We may do a whole themed thing. Ooh, that could be fun. Theme all of our videos in October to be Halloween themed. Not okay. just previously on, but we could amp up, place a lot more Phasmophobia and play some more spooky games in, in then that month. Uh, do some spooky movie reviews. Uh, if that's something you guys are interested in, I'm so let us glad know. that wasn't full of water. <laughs> I did. I, I got onto you for dropping lids, and I'm dropping full bottles over here. Of course, to be fair, if my lid would have been on it, maybe I wouldn't have dropped it. I'm just. <laughs> I had that one coming. I was um, waiting for the opportune time. Uh, anybody wants to tell us their favorite Halloween movie? That'd be great. Yeah. Get Mine me. is actually Halloween. Mine is Scream. I do like Scream a lot, but it's yeah. not really a Halloween movie. It's just a horror movie. I guess that's fair. Doesn't it take place in Halloween? No. I thought it took place like in October or something. It was during the fall season, but I don't know. It wasn't strictly based on Halloween. Well, I know it's not based on Halloween. I just thought they had a Halloween party in the movie. Oh, they had some kind of party. Maybe it was Halloween. I can't remember. Who knows? One of the... I will say one of the screams. It may have been the second one. The fourth one. One of them. The fourth one, I think... I know our producer's in there, and she is. She's about to come in here, and give me up the road for this. But I think it's the fourth one it may have taken place during Halloween because they they did like a horror movie marathon out in a barn, and had a big party. <laughs> There's a no. Heard a no. <laughs> I'm ruining it so bad, and it's my. It's my favorite, like, scary movie franchise, and I've, it's just been a while, guys, and it's been a long day. It was the stab anniversary, it wasn't Halloween. We've been corrected by my producer and my loving wife, <laughs> who's probably loving me a little less right now, because I'm butchering loving horror, horror movie. Loving you less wanting to kill you more. Horror movie, yeah. Stab is about to become very real. Um... You know on the way to Somerset, there's a place called the Stab Community, right? I do know that. And every time I think of Scream. Um, but the Stab, the first Stab movie came out Scream 2, right? That's at the very beginning of Scream 2. Jada Pinkett Smith. What now? Stab. So Stab is the fictional movie within the That's Scream That's based movie. on the Woodrow murders. Yes. So... In the second movie is when they air the first Stab movie, air quote. Yeah. Because, yeah, one of them gets stabbed in the bathroom. Yes. 
butchering it. Listen, guys, I really do love these movies, and I do know them better than this. I know the first one pretty good, but um, and the third one, because the third one is really underrated, in my opinion. Uh, but Halloween's a good one. I do like Halloween. I've seen all of them, and I like most of them. I even like the cheesy Halloween movies, because I still think they hold kind of a fun place in, like, horror culture. But see, now you've got me thinking. So, like, because when I think Halloween movie marathon, I think horror movies. So, like, I would have counted Scream. Scream is one of my favorites to well, watch. Well, you counted. Well, no, but now you've got me thinking, like, what is my favorite movie that revolves around the actual holiday? Which is a good point. And uh, I don't, I don't point. Know. Get it? Point. Point. Well, your finger and point at somebody. Oh, I get the point, sir. Uh, he just threw a microphone bag at me. Uh, you're lucky I didn't find nothing else. I like Hocus Pocus. I like Hocus Pocus pretty good. Pretty good, and it does surprise you that I've seen it. A little bit. I, honest to goodness, was waiting for the I've not seen that one. But it's a good movie. It. It's, it's good. good. Movie. Uh, have you seen Halloween Town? Parts of it, I think. Okay. See, there's like four of them, but... Oh, you know, though, you know my favorite, like, scary movie that actually takes place on Halloween, revolves around Halloween? Trick or Treat. Good movie. I don't think I've seen it. It is the one with the little dude, his name's Sam, and he's like the little dude with the sack, like brown, like burlap sack thing over his head. And he's got like the lollipop that's a jack o' lantern that's like half eaten out with like a sharp end. Well, we know something to put on the movie marathon list this year for old Dotch. You'll enjoy it. As a, as a scary movie and a Halloween fan, you will enjoy it. I want to see Candyman when it comes out. Oh, the new one? Yep. Oh, I, I like the original Candyman. I've only seen the first one of the originals, but. I think that's all I need to see. But the new one looks good. Uh, we got a new Halloween movie coming out this year, speaking of. Halloween Kills. New Michael Myers. So we're going to have some good spooky stuff. I'm, I'm so ready. Like I said, we've been decorating. I'm so excited. We're going to start. Me and the wife are going to start. Halloween. Oh, need to watch it. Yeah, part one came out already. Part one, part two comes out. I don't know. We'll find out and we'll get back to you. Do a full review. Um, I know me and her are going to start our scary movie like watch through. We normally start in September, and all of September and August we watch scary movies or Halloween ish movies. Like they're not all scary. Like we watch a lot of Tim Burton and like Scooby Doo stuff. But then obviously we watch scary movies. I don't too. watch all the Scooby Doo's. Hey dude, we'll have a marathon. Binge it out. It'll be fun. I'll do like last year whenever we marathoned it. I made. Some big uh, hero sandwich, big sub sandwiches, loaded it up with meat and cheese and lettuce and onion. Put two or three different types of condiments on there. Chef's kiss. It was great. So, with that being said, I think fine folks at home, please do me a favor. When you watch this, go feel down, sorry for me having to deal with Go him. down into the comments, and please, I'm begging you guys. I need to know who all got their haircut this week. Oh my god! <laughs> I need to know if this is a thing now. Like we always get our haircuts. If all of us are going to get our haircuts at the same time, I mean, it's a superhero thing, right? Superhero cut. Um, are we going to be the hair nation? <laughs> <laughs> Not a. <laughs> Not a Sidekick Productions. Proud sponsor of Haircuts. Um, or they could sponsor us. Anybody looking to sponsor us? We don't cut hair. How can we? Never mind. I'm not even getting Because we can advertise it. We I'm going to kill you. You just about this. fell right back out of that chair, I think. No, um, not yet. I'm thinking about it just in my misery. I'm going to be honest. That's scary. I'm pretty sure that just ricocheted around me. Whatever it was. I think it was my <laughs> bottle cap being returned. No, oh, that was my bottle cap I found. It was his bottle cap that he found. Anybody remember the old, like, uh, candies bottle caps? Yes. Pretty good. 
We were talking about old school candy. candy yes, earlier. 90s candy. We're going to do it. We need to do a 90s episode. I've got some 90s cards and like trivia questions, and I've got a 90s book around here. We'll do a whole 90s episode just for you guys. All right, so sound off in the comments below. Let us know what you're into, what you what you want to see more of, less of. If you got your hair cut, what's your favorite color? Uh, if you could be any dinosaur, what would it be? Um, just tell us in the comments below. And uh, <laughs> tell us what your favorite Halloween candy is or Halloween movie. Just talk to us. Chat with us below. He's very lonely. I am. I got. He's not much company. That's fair. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, also, while you're leaving a comment, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, hit that bell for notifications, and as always, enjoy. All right, everybody, see you guys next time.